Welcome to Sports Guy Talking. I am Dustin Tran, your host, as I am joined by guest A. Troy from the A. Troy Talk Show to talk about who the Panthers should select with the number one overall pick. There is a debate amongst NFL fans and analysts for who is the best QB in this draft class, which is between Bryce Young, C.J. Stroud, Anthony Richardson, and possibly even Will Levis. The Panthers already gave up four draft picks to get the number one overall pick, so whoever goes there will be facing a tremendous amount of pressure to succeed. Before I say anything else though, I want to present you guys with a topic question. So here it is, who should the Panthers select with the number one overall pick? With the number one overall pick, the Panthers should select Bryce Young. You gave away four draft picks, why not go get the best player available, not just quarterback, the best player available. The guy has the poise, he has the accuracy, he has the intangibles to be a great dominant NFL player who may one day receive a gold jacket. The guy has everything. You watch him in interviews, he's calm, he's a leader of men, and he's not even 25 years old yet. But I have seen other odds and everything of people maybe selecting or putting their bets on Will Levis being the number one. I vehemently disagree. I think that Bryce Young is the guy. And if the Panthers drop the ball on this, they could really be facing turmoil for years to come. I mean, you do have Caleb Williams coming in next year, but I think they got rid of their next year's first round draft pick as well. So it's looking pretty bad for the uh, Panthers if they make the wrong decision here. But in my opinion, Bryce Young is the guy. He scored a 98 on the S2 cognitive test, which is a test that tests QB smarts and their processing abilities and how how fast they're able to process this 98 was faster than Aaron Rodgers, Josh Allen, Justin Fields, of course, and also uh, Patrick Mahomes. The guy's an absolute monster in the mind, and I think that he can be one of the best quarterbacks in the NFL one of these five years coming up here. Um, now, also, I do want to bring up that CJ Stroud is a dark coach for this uh, number one overall pick now. Um, he wasn't a few weeks ago, but um, over the last couple of weeks, there have been a few things that transpired that um, GMs have kind of taken them off the board or kind of moved them down on the board but i still think he can be a great nfl player um just because he scored an 18 on that s2 cognitive test that i spoke of earlier doesn't mean that he can't be a good or a great player at the next level I see where you're coming from with that cognitive test that you keep bringing up, but to me, I think that the Carolina Panthers should absolutely select C.J. Stroud. No offense to Bryce Young and all these other quarterback prospects, but C.J. Stroud to me is the best quarterback prospect in this draft class. You look at the body of work that he's done, I respect Bryce Young's body of work as well, but I think C.J. Stroud does it just a little bit better. I like how C.J. Stroud stands nice and tall in that pocket. I like how he can deliver tough throws across the middle of the field. I like how he can hit the intermediate passes and although Bryce Young he throws a beautiful deep ball and that uh, he can indeed scramble very good for his game the fact of the matter is there are certain throws that Bryce Young can't make in terms of hitting the intermediate in terms of hitting those tight windows that are 15 to 20 yards down the field that CJ Stroud can do CJ Stroud is a guy that you can rely on to be a traditional drop back passer and I think his lack of mobility is entirely being overrated because CJ Stroud can move around the pocket if you need him to scramble for a first down he can do that people are acting like cj stroud has philip rivers type of mobility but that couldn't be further from the truth the truth of the matter is cj stroud wasn't asked to run all that much at ohio state just look at the history of ohio state quarterbacks they're not asked to run as much as what they're capable of doing look no further than justin fields justin fields was not known as much of a runner at ohio state but you look at the nfl and all justin fields is known for is being a run first qb so when you look at it from that perspective, C.J. Stroud, he's got all the tools to be successful in the National Football League. I could see him being a Joe Burrow, a Matt Ryan type of player, which is something that the Carolina Panthers should absolutely go ahead and go get. Now, Bryce Young, do I think he could be a really good quarterback? I think he can be. However, there are too many variables for Bryce Young in order to succeed. I think that Bryce Young could become a Russell Wilson type of player if he gets Russell Wilson type environments. But are we sure that's necessarily a good thing? You look at the Denver Broncos this past year with Russell Wilson. 
Russell Wilson struggled mightily for the Broncos because he was playing in an offense that did not fit to his strengths. That's going to be kind of similar to what Bryce Young would potentially have to deal with if he got drafted by the Carolina Panthers. And I understand some people say that Bryce Young he can go ahead and carry a bad team, but the Panthers are not necessarily a bad team. They don't necessarily need an entertaining option at the quarterback position. They just need a solid quarterback with the potential to grow into an elite quarterback one day. CJ Stroud fits that bill to a T. You think about the fact that the Carolina Panthers already have Adam Thielen, already have DJ Chark, already got Terrace Marshall, already got Miles Sanders, already got Chuba Hubbard as their weapons, and they already got a good old line. They just need a quarterback that's not going to make mistakes. Who do I think is the quarterback that will make the least amount of mistakes? I'm going to go ahead and say CJ Stroud. Now, I also think that he's got the potential to grow into an elite quarterback one day. I like the potential of CJ Stroud. So to me, the Carolina Panthers have got to go ahead and select them first overall. That'll be a great pickup for them. Um, I do like your NFL comps. Uh, looking over his tape, I think it really, CJ Stroud I'm talking about, I think it really reminded me of uh, Vince Young when Vince Young played back in the day. I don't know if that was too far away for you, but um, I think that he can be a Vince Young type of player at the next level because when Vince Young got to the NFL, he wasn't really doing a lot of scrambling, but he could if he had to. And also he could make every single throw you ask him to do. The guy was a pro bowler, his career didn't last the longest but uh cj stroud can definitely put that type of tape out there if you ask me he's the most sure quarterback in this year's draft he checks off everything you look for in a quarterback but it's just that ick factor that i don't think that bryce young would drop beneath him in this year's draft cj stroud's a great player it's going to be very intriguing to see what he does at the next level regardless who the panthers pick with this number one overall pick as long as it's not anthony richardson they're going to hit the mark well, I like Anthony Richardson, so I'm not going to necessarily agree with you with that mentality. I think Anthony Richardson could be a really good quarterback in the National Football League. I just think for Anthony Richardson, he can't go to a win-now team. He's got to go to a team that's in rebuilding mode, where they're going to allow Anthony Richardson to regrow his game, be able to retool his game, maybe even sit on the bench for a year, maybe just let him have a trial by fire season, and maybe he gets a rolling in year two. So I'm really high on Anthony Richardson, but not necessarily for the Carolina Panthers. I don't think that he's the right fit for the Carolina Carolina Panthers with the first pick because we're looking for a win now quarterback and Anthony Richardson does not necessarily provide that although I would not be mad if we picked Anthony Richardson however if we did pick Will Levis with the first overall pick I would be pretty irate about that I'm seeing some odds makers rise up the odds of Will Levis going first overall I am hoping that does not happen because if that happens as the Carolina Panthers fan I would not be very happy with that and although I think Will Levis could be a good quarterback in the right situation he is not number one overall pick material I'm not even sure if he's first round pick material. Maybe if he was on a team where quarterback was not necessarily a priority, maybe they have a solid quarterback that maybe fans and media are getting sick and tired of. Maybe they could take a chance on Will Levis, bottom of the first round. Maybe somebody like the Minnesota Vikings. That would be a good fit for Will Levis. A good fit for Will Levis would not be on the Carolina Panthers. So I certainly do not want Will Levis on the Carolina Panthers for sure. But you look at the quarterbacks, Bryce Young, I think he could be a good quarterback. However, I have concerns about him not being able to make certain throws and the fact that he's just quite frankly too small I don't care that he's necessarily 5'10 but the fact that he's barely over 200 pounds and he's more likely to be less than 200 pounds than over 200 pounds but even if he is over 200 pounds that is certainly nothing to brag about and Anthony Richardson I think he can be a good quarterback I don't think he's a good quarterback for the Carolina Panthers today but I think that in time Anthony Richardson will grow out to be the second best quarterback in this draft class but to me I think CJ Stroud has got to be the pick. You move all that stuff to get the first overall pick. You're getting the best pure passer in this draft class. Even with the NFL becoming more mobilized at the quarterback position, you still have to know how to throw from the pocket. And that's exactly what CJ Stroud has to do. So my pick for the first overall pick is going to be CJ Stroud. What's your official pick? Bryce Young. I'm sticking with Bryce Young. I do like what you said about Will Levis. If the guy is telling his family and friends, I don't know if this is true, if he's telling his family and friends that Carolina's picking him number one, be prepared, man. Anything can happen. Ms. Trubinsky just got picked a few years ago. <laughs> Anything could happen with the NFL draft. Oh yeah, definitely. That's not even a question to me. If Will Levis gets picked with the first overall pick, hey, we've seen far crazier things happen. There was a few years ago where Daniel Jones was picked sixth overall when nobody even had a first round grade or possibly even a second round grade 
on Daniel Jones. I mean, I like Daniel Jones somewhat coming out of Duke, even though I'm a Tar Heels guy. I liked him somewhat as a prospect, but I did not like him at six overall type of like him. I mean, that's just the reality of the situation. But I'm going to go ahead and pick CJ Stroud for the first pick. You're going to go ahead and pick Bryce Young. Although I will throw out a disclaimer that I do think the Panthers will pick Bryce Young. But I think that we should pick CJ Stroud. All right. Well, thanks for being on the show, A Troy. Appreciate you coming on here. All right. Make sure you follow his Instagram at A Troy Talks. He also has a YouTube channel called A Troy Talks Show. So make sure you guys go ahead and subscribe to his YouTube channel. All right. Thanks for being on the show, man. You're very welcome. Thank you for having me. Oh, yeah, no problem, man. See ya, bro. Yup. Bye. That was A Troy from the A Troy Talk Show. So he's got the Carolina Panthers selecting Bryce Young with the number one overall pick. Meanwhile, I got the Carolina Panthers selecting CJ Stroud with the number one overall pick. This is a who should, not a who will. So those are the answers that we are going to give. Honestly, though, I do think that we will select Bryce Young with the number one overall pick, but hopefully we will pick CJ Stroud. So that is why the Panthers should select CJ Stroud with the number one overall pick over Bryce Young. Anthony Richardson and Will Levis. Remember, go ahead and subscribe to Sports Guy Talking. Like the video and please comment down below. If you guys do that, I may shout you guys out in a future video. Make sure to follow me on Instagram at Dustin S. Tran and at Sports Guy Talking. Also, go follow me on Twitter at Dustin S. Tran. Again, go ahead and do those things that I just told you guys to go do. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the content that was just produced. Peace out. I hope you enjoyed that video. Want more Sports Guy Talking, the home of great sports content? Make sure you click that subscribe button to get the latest from Sports Guy Talking. Go ahead and like the video. Comment down below. Check the description box on the video in order to follow my Instagram and Twitter. Also, be sure to check out more of the best clips from the YouTube channel, Sports Guy Talking.